This is the precise definition of shirk. To make a partner along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we realize then that obviously shirk, which is the opposite of tawheed, must by necessity and by definition be the most evil of all evils. As Jews and Christians are mushrikun in our perspective of tawheed, as we have studied we can understand how, and uh, only the Muslims are upon tawheed. And it is also the same reason or the same principle of tawheed which is the first obligation upon every single human being. That he bears witness and he testifies that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is because of the same principle of tawheed that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been commanded to do jihad. Jihad is a means and not a goal in and of itself. It is a means to establish tawheed on the land. أُمِرْتُ أَنْ وَقَاتِلَ النَّاسِ حَتَّى يَشْهَدُوا أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ I have been commanded to fight the people until they testify لا إله إلا الله. So the whole reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us and sent the prophets and revealed the books and differentiated us based upon this principle and allowed for jihad is the basis and is the principle of tawheed. The life and property of a mushrik holds no value in the state of jihad. Make Notice I said in the state of jihad, not at all times and places. The life and property of a mushrik becomes halal while in a state of jihad. The Prophet ﷺ said, and we quoted the hadith before, I have been commanded to fight the people until they say, La ilaha illallah. And when they say, La ilaha illallah, he went on, when they say la ilaha illallah, their life and property become protected from me. Which means if they don't say la ilaha illallah, their life and property are halal for the Muslims. So the Christians do commit shirk. They are, they are kuffar and they are mushrikun. The mushrikun are najas, they are filthy. Najasa. They are filthy, a spiritual filthiness which can only be purified by the purity of tawheed. Allah calls the mushrikun najis, which is a very evil thing. When Allah Himself says the mushrikun are najis, Allah is calling them najis. They are a najasa, a filthy, impure, dirty substance. 